This airplane is not landing. It's performing a touch and go landing. But why would you do that? It's not what you think. Touch and go landings are an integral part of training on an aircraft carrier. Pilots that have been away from a carrier for more than 29 days must first practice landing on land before attempting touch and goes on the carrier, followed by actual landings. Before USS Ronald Reagan left for its 2016 summer patrol, it planned to conduct 4,200 touch and go landings. Additionally, when a new aircraft is introduced to the carrier, such as the F 35C, planned touch and goes are practiced first before making an arrested landing. But outside of aircraft carriers, touch and go landings are a hot topic, as some instructors suggest that too many touch and goes during training can create a safety problem as trainees pay less attention to proper landing. Others point out that touch and goes can prepare future pilots for rejected landing scenarios. But one thing is for sure touch and go landings can save time when training, and time is money.